The history of medicine in Kingston goes back to its founding as a military outpost and then as a fledgling colonial town. There have been doctors here since the beginning. The medical school was actually the first department of Queen's University, founded in 1854, and it is the second oldest medical school in the country. As a result, for a small town, Kingston has always attracted a large number of academic specialists and researchers, which you might not expect in a town of this size. The Department of Family Medicine at Queen's is a, is a very large department. We have over 170 postgraduate trainees in total at any given time, but we also have a third of that number going on to do an additional year of training in areas such as Aboriginal health, women's health, developmental disabilities, emergency medicine, GP anesthesia. And this additional year of training really does help our graduates go out into diverse environments and have special skills to help address those populations' needs. The Masters of Science in Healthcare Quality at Queen's University is an interdisciplinary program. It is taught by medicine, nursing, law, education, engineering, policy, business. So it, it has a wide range of people teaching in the program which brings their different views on safety and quality and risk to our learners, our students. And as professionals, we need to be committed to achieving or advancing high quality care for all clients. HMRC is a collaborative research group where for the last almost 30 years now, it's been an environment created where orthopedic surgeons uh, get to meet and work and collaborate with a variety of other specialists. We're interested in motion analysis, outcome research, basic biomechanics, and also cellular research as well. We started this institute four years ago because we realized that in Canada we didn't have a focused way of capturing the research that was being done on military and veterans and their families in Canada. You know, there's about 100,000 serving members of the military, about 750,000 veterans, and if you look at their families as well, you're talking literally millions of Canadians that have really unique health needs within our society. Many years ago I had the opportunity to be part of the leadership of an international clinical trial that led to a new discovery which in turn led to a royalty type return to the university and to me personally. I decided to transform that personal return into an opportunity to create a chair in memory of my mom who died when she was about 43 of breast cancer and to create that forward-looking legacy so that clinical trials will continue to be conducted to improve the outcomes of cancer patients. Learning at Queen's is like learning at home. It's such a positive space and such a supportive space that learning really becomes something that comes naturally. The sense of community that you do feel once you get here really is the feeling of belonging, the feeling of knowing that if you ever do need help, you have amazing classmates and colleagues, amazing administrative staff and teachers who are there to help you. I'm really proud to be the Dean here at the Faculty of Health Sciences. Our students are incredibly special. They're such a fabulous group. We're really privileged but to be working with them. Our faculty, our faculty are terrifically hardworking. They love to teach and they are tremendous scientists and researchers. We are very much like a family and there's really this incredible special affection that people have for being here at Queen's. <laughs>